Hi friends, today it is uh, 9 7 2022, and the time is uh, 6 15. And uh, we had a bumper rally from the uh, 17th uh, June, which was our important trend change date. And uh, we had roughly around 1000 points more from there. And uh, whether can we predict this before or not is the question. And uh, last week, uh, Every week, I, I will be giving the weekly forecast video with the numbers, with the Nifty as well as Man Nifty. And I don't consider trend line and all. It happens on its own, OK? And apart from that, to be used to give uh, which one hour candle to watch based on past data, OK? And we give this uh, one hour candle magic much, much before, much, much before it happens, OK? So we don't give up. We don't uh, say that, you know, this candle will be uh, crucial after it happens. <laughs> no, we give much, much before. And we have a practical uh, working for that to find out which candle will decide everything in the future. It's a one hour candle. I'm not talking about the date. Date, we are, you all know that how we work on dates. But this is a one hour magic candle, which we predict, uh, use, uh, you know, which we used to predict based on the past data. And it gives the exact turning point of that particular one hour candle and that particular one hour candle will do the magic. So now let's go and see what all happened, what we discussed in the week, whether it happened or not, all that. Okay. Chal. So now first we will go to the YouTube channel where, okay. So this is the weekly forecast video, 20th to 24th June. Okay. And the topic covered are Nifty and Bank Nifty. Crucial week for 1,000 points from here. That was the topic. Crucial week for 1,000 points from here. And from 20th, because 17th was a very crucial date for Nifty as well as for Dow Jones. And from 17th, where it made the low of 15,183. And I have clearly mentioned why 17th is very, very important date. And that is covered in this video. You can go back and check this video. And from there, we made 200,000 points in Nifty, more than 2,500 points in Bank Nifty. So this was predicted based on the time, not on the price. Okay, at 15,183, everybody was bearish. But only time knows when to turn. And this I was telling from the June month beginning, saying that there will be a rally in the month of June. I was expecting the rally should uh, eventually start from 21st of uh, uh, June, but the bottom happened on 17th of June. And after 21st of June, we are seeing a good rally. According to me, this rally may extend till July 17th. And from July 17th, we need to watch. According to me, from July 17th, the top will be formed. And this was, I was telling for a very long time. Even from May month also, I was telling this. And that is what is happening. And we are able to catch this 1,000 points move based on the time not on the price okay so this was the bang on prediction which we did and apart from that if you go here on 27th uh, this was the uh, uh, video which i covered by these stocks by these stocks with small stop loss for big gains part one and i have given why you should buy these stock based on fortune signal which is my proprietary indicator and only based on that proprietary indicator, I predicted market bottomed out on 15,183 and it clubbed with my time cycle date. And that is where the exact bottom happened. So if you don't know, uh, you know time cycle and all that, you know, no need. Uh, just fortune signal is more than enough. If you understand how to use it properly, it can predict the top and bottom very easily just by clicking one button. That's all. Maybe I'll try to cover that in my weekly forecast video again. This is the video for the last week updates. So in this, I've given an introduction video by these stocks with the small stop loss for big gains, part one. Okay, and apart from that, I covered roughly around 180 scripts. So this is part two, part three, part four. So all these I've done. And uh, if you see here, very small viewers, but I'm not bothered about that. But People, those who watch that video, they would have made some phenomenal money because 
we in that video was put when the market was at the bottom okay so whether you see or not it's not my problem people those who use it they make money and i've given why you need to buy this stock based on fortune sequence okay so these are the videos and uh, bang on prediction on dow jones also last week which we predicted and it is doing wonders i will try to cover the dow jones in a separate video and you can go back and watch uh, this video major indices at the crucial level where i covered all the indices and uh, dow jones i i made a separate video of uh, dow jones and uh, uh, nasdaq last week in depth analysis dow jones in depth analysis nasdaq you can go back and watch and all that so now i am closing this youtube channel video okay so now i am not going to any of this uh, video so now i am straight away going to uh, ppt so now watch this first okay so this is the observation from 27th to 1st july okay this is my ppt on 27th to 1st july weekly observation i gave two candles to watch two one hour candles to watch okay this is for bank nifty and this is for nifty so in bank nifty it is 28th june and we predicted this date much earlier but i used to write only when the date is very near so this prediction was given on 27th for 28th okay 9:15 to 10:15 am one hour candle that's all okay and for nifty it is 115 to 315 candle on 29th june on 29th june okay so i have marked these two this one hour candle in bank nifty and two hour candle in nifty in the chart just we will go and see what happened there okay so now let's go to the chart so this is that one hour candle which we talked about 28th june first one hour candle 915 to 1015 candle so after this it was not able to close above that level and okay maybe if i if i change the fonts then you will know better okay so that the color will be very clear with the wick and all so i'll do that okay so now so this was the one hour candle and that date was a total consolidation within that one hour candle next day gap down again went up restricted on the sell candle below came down and once it closes above for 30 minutes once it closes above for 30 minutes you can change this to 30 minutes also anyway no problem once it closes above 30 minutes you need to buy and it went up came down gave the opportunity in this candle gave the opportunity in this candle and the entry was 33691 and you know where the market is now see just that one hour candle is given roughly around 1500 points 1500 points okay so now let's go to nifty so the nifty candle is the nifty candle is 29th 29th two hour candle system sorry 29th two hour candle let's see how market respects all these past pattern which happened four months back and it gives one candle so that candle is 29th to 15 115 to 315 candle so this is 115 candle and this is 215 candle so the candle is big and this is within this candle so this is within this candle so we can take the high and low of this candle okay see how market worked not able to close close to below gap down came down again went up close to you know in between next day gap up came down all the way and this candle low was 15787.1 and uh, the sudden fall came here and this candle low was 15786 see how this candle see there are many candles here nobody can predict which candle is going to be do the wonders you cannot put trend line and all that here very very difficult but this candle which we predicted on 27th june 
that law was respected on the dot year. And from there, we got a mega move. See how beautifully this works, how beautifully this works. And we calculate this based on a working. So if you go here, so this is how we calculate the dates. And this date and this timing, we designed based on this date high and this date low. Like that, we have a bank nifty. We have a bank nifty also. So all that is clearly you know, done much, much before, much, much before. Okay, so now let's go to the weekly number, which we predicted last week. So this is for last week, weekly observation from 4th to July to 8th of July. And when it comes to future, this one number is more than enough to do the whole month. Only one number, no need of any other number. 15,805. Above 15,805, you know where the market today. And if you go to Bank Nifty, above this, you know where the market is. 1,500 points. Time. That's only one number. That's only one number. And this number can be given, will be given before the expiry starts. Before the July expiry starts, you will have this number. You can go back to my YouTube video and you can check on whichever date the expiry started. I think it started on 1st. If you go to 30th June, you will have this number with you in the night. Okay. And I give this number to everyone free of cost. I don't charge anything. So I will publish these numbers with the stop loss also. You can simply use it. Okay. So now let's go to the weekly numbers. So by above 15,876, target 16,270. Okay. And sell below 15,625, target 15,206. This sell is not initiated at all, but the buy is initiated. In Nifty, the stop loss is only 54 points. For 500 points, the stop loss only 54 points. So 1 is to 10. Normally, I give 1 is to 10, not 1 is to 2, 1 is to 3. Okay. So one time, the 54 point stop loss triggered, but it came down exactly touched that one hour, can, the two hour candle magic of Nifty. From there, it took a U turn. But anyway, that I should not consider. Based on this weekly observation, above this number, one time stop loss triggered, but next time when it went above this number, all target achieved. Believe me, this was the bang on eye of Nifty last week, Friday. 16,270. Let's go to Bank Nifty. Buy above 33,764, target 35095. 35095. So let's go to the chart and see this. Let's go to the chart. Okay, so this is Bank Nifty. This is fourth, fourth, so it gave a buy and the stop loss, 144 point stop loss is not triggered. Again, next day, it closed above, it closed above, went up, came down all the way, touched the buy number, 33,764, exactly here. And that is where it closed. That is where it closed. Exactly 33,764. And from there, the highest target, the last target for the week was 35095. And that was the target. And that is where the market closed also. So all the target achieved from bang on pin to pin. Pin to pin, dot to dot. Okay, this is bank nifty. Let's go to nifty. So... The buy number was 15,876. So it was a gap up. It was a gap up because the buy came only here. We need to wait for it to come and touch the buy number. The buy got initiated, but the stop loss triggered. Okay, stop loss triggered. Again, it went and closed above. On 6th, again came down, gave the opportunity to buy at 15,876. Stop loss 54 points. And from there, our target is 16,270. That was the high. 16,274. Our target was 16,270. Without any trend line, without anything, this is how market works. 
and it respects the numbers to the core. So we use fortune signals to write this maybe on one hour candle or 15 minutes candle. Sometimes it will be whips also, but predominantly it gives a major point of the move, major point of the move. And I predominantly work on numbers. Then I will use my indicator to stay with the trend. But for me, numbers are more, more important because mm -hmm. numbers do wonders. So beautiful week last week. Let's see how the market is going to plan out. And I've already made the video. I've already uh, informed uh, to my followers saying that 8th July was the miracle day. 8th July was the miracle day. So if you go here, so all these dates will be given much, much before. Okay, 8th June was the miracle day. And I've already marked this 8th June high and low. I've already made the weekly presentation for Nifty and the Bank Nifty. So that I will cover in a separate video. So now this is going to be crucial number, crucial number for the next week going forward. So I'll try to cover all that. So this is for Bank Nifty. I'll try to cover all that in my weekly forecast video. Let's see how the market respected these uh, numbers without any indicator. Because I use everything because this is my Bible or this is my Bhagavad Gita or this is my Quran. So I write what I want to do next week and that I'm publishing it to you. That's all. So this is for next week. So let's see. Uh, I'll try to cover uh, in a different video. And uh, always remember, whenever the, the bullish number and the bearish number are very, very close, it means explosion. It means explosion. That is what happened last week. And that too, especially Bank Nifty. And I covered all indices at a glance. I don't know how many people went and watched that. So if you go uh, in my YouTube channel, I, I come out with a video saying that all indices at a glance. And clearly mentioned last week that PSU banks are going to roll. And you have seen, especially Bank of Baroda is my uh, favorite. And Kedra Bank was roaring and topmost is SBA. And I clearly mentioned PSU banks will perform, not the private banks. And PSU banks was rolling, including Indian Bank. So let me wait for the video of Dow Jones and uh, weekly forecast video of Nifty and Bank Nifty and stocks and all that. And one number magic was literally, literally rocking. And again, I'm saying, we found out the dates for Reliance to go big or go down big. And that, num that uh, date will be covered in my uh, weekly forecast video. And we'll be discussing the market forecast, num important numbers, important dates, all that tomorrow at 12.30 to 2 p.m. And if you want to join, you can join my Telegram channel. The link will be posted in the video below. You can join my Telegram channel and you can join the webinar tomorrow to discuss stocks, uh, important dates, important hourly candle and market. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Again, saying I'm not a SEBI registered investment advisor. So kindly do your homework or consult your financial advisors before taking any financial decision See you soon in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.